So what's going on guys, DIY Dan again, and this is another episode of Backroads Arizona. So we're adding a couple more things to my 2020 Velocity Turbo S Razor, uh, including a windshield that we had to modify for our roll cage, and also a set of side mirrors. So let's get to it. So if you've been debating on whether to get a windshield, what kind of windshield to get, my insight is on the first Razor we had, it had a half windshield. It did take some getting used to as far as visibility. However, uh, at speeds above 30 miles an hour, a half windshield works amazing to keep the wind out of your face. The only reason I say it takes some getting used to as far as visibility is because the top of the half windshield was kind of in my line of sight. But once you get used to it, it's no big deal. So we did try it without one on the new Razor. We made it two trails before deciding we needed one again. I personally would not recommend a full windshield because of debris, dust, bugs, blocking your view. Uh, I've gone mud bogging a couple times and completely covered the half windshield. So imagine if that was a full. Uh, with the modified roll cage, and I had tabs put on so I could put some LED corner lights on, uh, the windshield was hitting that tab, so it wasn't gonna work. Uh, we thought about returning it, but realized we're gonna have the same problem with any windshield we get. So we modified this to accommodate these tabs that are welded on here, and we're gonna show you how we did it. So let's get to it. So basically I'm marking from where that bracket's gonna sit down, and we're at about two inches. So I'm even with the bottom of that bracket, I'm gonna mark it at two inches. So I was able to cut this windshield on my table saw. So I moved the rip fence to cut it at two inches, and then I moved it over a little bit, cut it again, moved it over, and cut it again. So I have cut plexiglass or acrylic plenty of times with a table saw and never had an issue, and there is nothing special about the blade, just a fine tooth wood cutting blade. The only time I've had plexiglass crack on me cutting with a table saw is when I was really close to an edge trying to take a sliver off of something. Make sure you take your time with the cut. Do not rush it. So I would cut it a little bit, go and try it on the razor, and then cut a little bit more, whichever direction I needed to widen it. After getting the windshield the way I wanted it, I took off the protective coating. So this windshield came with a trim to help protect the hood, and the easiest way I found to do this was to get some dish soap and water and make a soapy water substance and squirt it on the windshield and then push the trim on top. It acts as a lubrication and it worked very well. I tried doing it without that and it was not nearly as easy to get it around the contours of the windshield. After getting the trim on, there was a little bit of excess, so we used a pair of dikes to cut off the remaining trim that was left over. Okay, now we're gonna set it up into place. Got a Velcro connection on this. Didn't know how I was gonna feel about this at first instead of the bar clamps. But it actually worked really well and makes it easy to pull off for cleaning. They also have a cleaner look to them than the bar clamps with bolts going through the windshield. So we're also installing a set of Kemimoto side mirrors. I had a rear view mirror in the last razor, and I do like the visibility of the side mirrors better. So you've got four Allen head bolts that you tighten up around the roll cage. You slide the mirror in, and then you tighten these two Allen heads to secure this piece. And they do have a breakaway function, so if you hit some trees or something, that it collapses in. And then you can rotate them up or down, depending on what your roll cage demands as far as giving you a good line of sight. So I tried doing the first one by myself and it was kind of a pain to hold both of the half moon clamps up in place while starting the Allen heads. So it is much easier with two people if that's a possibility. And right now I've got my wife in the driver's seat. We're just adjusting our line of sight. I recommend bringing the tools that you installed the mirrors with plus whatever you need to tighten the breakaway feature because we went out on the first trail and the mirror was a little too loose so we had to keep folding the mirror out every couple minutes at high speeds. So one bad thing and I don't think it would matter what kind of mirror I had, I did have a rock come up and shatter my glass. 
I did look to see if they just sell the lens and it is not sold separately, but it doesn't look like many other UTV side mirrors have that option anyways. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. I will be doing videos on any other upgrades I make or anything else that happens to my Razor. I also plan on doing more videos on my trail riding in Arizona. Uh, just trying to find a good camera holder that will not vibrate with the Razor. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope to see you next time. Later.